Hello, Divine Feminine. Hello, hello. Happy Holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. And I hope you're having a nice break if you took one. So, oh, well, well. Let's get to looking at where are we on our healing journey as you know if you've been here before i do believe we are one soul with our divine counterpart in two bodies having a yeah they wanted me to look at that uh spiritual experience. I have my window open and now there's people outside. That's what it is. So I do get a very strong sense that your masculine is a bit overwhelmed. You may also have been feeling overwhelmed or you may be feeling overwhelmed now. There may be a sense of change in the air. And you may feel, so what I get is that I feel like you feel that a opportunity has passed you by. Wow, it was King of Wands and King of Cups. Your masculine has really intense uh, past life memories haunting them right now. And uh, this is the first time this has come through in a while. Um, maybe, so there's a, kind of a thing with twins where you had past lives that were um, families and there would need to be like a decision to be made, obviously two pentacles there, um, where, you know, you would have to lose one one another and probably many lifetimes of a heartbreak making decisions about sacrificing other people now we have king and queen of swords wow this is really interesting energy so what they want me to do today is uh i'm gonna shut the window Look at that fool. Okay, so past, present, and near future. All right. So mainly focusing on their feelings. Sorry about this. Just one second. I cannot listen to them talk the entire time. Okay. So... Let's look at the past. Four, eight, four, Emperor. Hmm. I feel like we need more cards than this, but let's see what we get. Oh my God. <laughs> I have to give Spirit a little applause here because, wow. We have another four. And the three. And the two. So, oh my goodness. There was some kind of, that's the Empress card in the stack. There was some kind of feeling here in the past where... You two were longing for one another. King of Cups. Like, intense longing to be together. Um, there was a transformation. That came through. Um, regarding this broken heart. 
Oh, wow, I see your masculine really showing up in the past here in this very strong energy. And I think I hear you guys saying no. He didn't show up in very strong energy. He really walked away from me. But this is a bit crazy here. Oh, you have Queen of Pentacles and a trapped feeling. So somebody felt trapped here. And he either viewed you as trapped or you were trapped or you viewed him as trapped. Um, so uh, there was a stuck energy that forced you apart. The connecting energy, I guess we're reading it like this. I thought we were going to do all him, but now I see that it's you and him. Okay, so I feel like you both waited for the other one to come back and nothing happened or there was a period of time where not much happened. You were both waiting his waiting seems to have been very strategic. Oh man, the way that the masculine is showing up is so dramatic. If you have a dramatic masculine, you're gonna feel this reading. Um, it's hilarious to me because, you know, the emperor doesn't really show emotions. And in this card in particular, it's got that skull on the wall. And I feel <laughs> he really felt like he was kind of putting something on display. In fact, I think he actually put something for you to see. I don't know that you got it because you were like looking in the other direction. I feel like you really had a lot of healing to do. I feel like you've been doing a lot of healing and a lot of ascension work, especially around what you've accepted in relationships in the past. Like he's sitting over here with his heart in his hand and his heart is broken. I mean, it's very literal. But he also has a chess piece in his hand. Um, I wouldn't say these two cards come out like this a lot necessarily. I thought this was going to be a short reading and I feel like it's going to be really long. Um, so we had some flip over. I'm sorry for lying to you. I see myself having kids with you. That's a, a creative energy. That's like a sacral energy. I miss kissing you. I think it's more about your energies coming together. Not all of you are going to have kids or even create things together. Um, I'm not good at communicating my feelings with you. I'm battling addictions. I have, I feel like that seems not what I was talking about, but they're telling me yes. I'm trying to trust in divine timing. I'm so scared of change. Okay, so the addictive energy is always no one makes me feel like you do what if i don't accept me for who i really am the addictive energy is always the mind energy and the mind energy for you is focused on him who's your addiction and his mind energy is focused on anything else like it has to kind of complete a circle he cannot be focused on you so you have been trying to heal I use this word and it's very triggering for a lot of people, but I found that it's the most accurate word. The codependency of having to have somebody like make decisions with you in accordance and agreement or even to do things with, to be there. I feel like the universe is in a lot of ways and these may be like symbolic ways been stripping some of that away from you. It could be at work. They took away a boss or it could be in your home. You're more 
autonomous something there's some aspect of your life where you were really relying on other influences to support your it's especially around decision making emotions you know this is a cups card and there's the contract card and in a lot of ways even if you're still in a relationship that relationship was weakened somehow or you left it okay so we're going to go on to present because i don't want to spend too much time on the past oh, wow wow look at that still holding in his hand wow two more kings come out he may have seen you so there's two messages coming through already. I know this is a crazy message. He sees you in a very high light. The good news and the bad news. You have another, you have three kings and an emperor. Holy cow. Look at that balance. I was kind of saying about that decision making in the beginning, I think. Um, this is crazy. And then, you know, don't forget the Empress came out. I'm going to get a few color cards. And then more black cards. Um, you know, you were really leveling up your heart field. And so is he. This is the void. So we have telepathy. Oh wow, three medals on the bottom. Wow. I don't know. He sees you very abundant, very strong, very attractive, very alluring. He's trying to be that in response to you. I know this sounds crazy because he could even be with somebody else. And you could be he sees you as having other people in your life or attracted to you in the present moment i mean this is really strong energy but your heart is still sad right there's something locked up in your heart he has been thinking about you so much thinking about this situation even possibly asking like older males even asking spirit during this time of silence or potential or change he's been having a rough time i know these two cards are saying this but i feel it is that when the divine feminine does shine it's so bright like this two cards these are two leo cards together are incredibly strong and you're like what are you talking about my light but it's like when you actually shine your light you're in a place of stability for yourself right everybody sees it you've been doing this healing growth this giving yourself the love that you needed reparenting your inner child and what it has done to him has very strangely, I guess, made him really want to be a different type of man. Is he acting like that? I don't know. The King of Cups and the King of Pentacles together give me a sort of egocentric vibe where my self-worth is kind of based on what I have and what I wear and what I am, like what I do. And I feel like he's been reflecting on what has that kind of life given him. Because I feel like he worked in that king energy, worked really hard and not necessarily at a job, but like, he put a lot of effort into an image and it could have been that 
he either saw his father one way and decided to be the other way or he was copying like a sort of image that he saw in a way and it just didn't fulfill him like it's been I feel like he's searching for his worth still right now I feel like things are pretty silent I can't face you I can't get you out of my head I definitely feel that I'm not ready for commitment I pushed you away because I was scared so the commitment thing is important and that's what I'm talking about when I say the kind of man he wants to be if his parents went through a really ugly divorce or, or there was never support there the way it should have been, he's having to like recode all of that masculine energy in himself. And when you have a lot of healing from a lot of, you know, damage that's been done, trauma, it's really not easy to find that recoding place. You have to get almost fully out of your own identity to get there. I, I filmed a video on this last night and it's just so crazy. So let's look at the near future. Wow. This is quite a reading. Huh. Interesting. I could have used a better card than that. I mean, he's still very burdened here, but he finds some spiritual enlightenment. There's something here. Wow, you have King of Pentacles in reverse. You may be leaving someone. You may leave a relationship behind. If not, I feel like, what is this? It's the king of pentacles in reverse with the page of pentacles and action on your side i think you may send a message of like take what resonates because i feel several different scenarios and i don't usually read like that but here it feels some of you are in relationships they're saying like 50 percent maybe 40 percent and you kind of are on the fence about what you want to do with that relationship. And some of you really just want to move forward in your life. Yeah, those two colors are so close. Um, he's having these crazy spiritual downloads, these dreams, this these past life memories. And he has the sixth chakra too. And he is like, when is this going to end? I feel like he's like, this isn't going to end. I've been waiting for this burden, these signs and synchronicities and visions and dreams and yearning to end. When's it going to end? There's this feeling here that's like, I feel like, <laughs> I feel so much better when I'm with her. I've never felt a love like this before. I love you. I need you back. Okay, so he's never felt anything like this. He hears you, like, when you talk to him, he kind of knows that it's you. And something has happened that confirmed this for him. I don't know. There's going to, either you're going to send him a message or you, or you already have. And whatever you said in this message, they're showing me like that, they're showing me several things, but one of them is like that old mousetrap game, you know, where things just go into motion and then the net falls down and the man kicks the boot, the boot kicks the bucket and the ball rolls down. And it's like, you said something and it was about, I'm really specific today. Um, 
a memory, a time that he thought he was the only one that this was in his mind or was special to like, but you said it and you were like, oh, he was like, oh, this is special to her too. Water sign, they'll be back. No in reverse, Mercury retrograde. He's gonna take a chance. He's going to take a chance. Spy, open your heart. Earth sign, intimacy, caution. So I do think you should be careful and go very slow. Especially, so always trust your own intuition very first, okay? There is a feeling around this of strategy. I feel like I don't believe in spiritual tests, but this card did come out. You've recently gone through a period of time or, or some something where it changed you on a fundamental level. And that card also says brilliant on it, which is another light, you know, emitting light. You're emitting a different type of light. And when we go through really hard challenges, you know, this is this card here. And the next card under that is divorce. Some of us have gone through challenges we never thought we would ever go through in our lives. And we did. And they're really saying, don't give too much. Give only what you really feel you need to give, right? Don't overwork to gain approval or to gain affection or to gain attention. It's like, there is a feeling here where you need to really understand your sacred energy and your, you can make things happen. I'm not saying you can't. Um, but there is a lot of value in using the downtime, using the time, you know, the trough, right? They keep showing me this all the time. It's like, energy goes in waves like this. And the faster it goes up and down, the higher the, the frequency. Okay, so when normal people kind of come together, it's like the opposites attracting. You guys have waves and usually they're different and they kind of cancel each other out and you guys come more to the center. When twins come together, it's the exact same frequency. So they amplify, it's huge. The, the dips and the up and the down are massive. That's why it, it feels so crazy intense, right? We're the exact same frequency. So when we come together, our, uh, they're calling it um, variable, uh, it goes double or triple. It's huge. And you can push it so far that you push yourselves apart from each other for years because it's that intense. Like, I'm not trying to scare you, but I'm saying go slow. Um, because it's not exactly like this, but it's akin to my understanding is that as great as it feels to you, it's as scary as it feels to them. And that is the power in taking things in short amounts of time and very, very slowly. It lessens like the fear. I hope that makes sense. Um, and you get an understanding about like the actual physics of 
so they're talking about the void when one of us goes into the void it's basically detaching from our frequency in a way that's what you do also when you meditate and when you when you sleep and um other things that detach you from your body uh astral project or um psycho like mushrooms whatever um so he's in a period right now that he's going to come out of with a lot I know I've been saying like his third eye has been opening for a while he's kind of um you know like when a computer um downloads the next operating system that's what it's like and that's like this king energy it's like so strong like he used to think he was strong because he would play a bunch of mind games and have a bunch of strategy but that was all covering up his broken heart i don't want to look at these anymore um but now he's understanding that you know a real a real king a real emperor is vulnerable in some ways like is it's like they're showing me like he doesn't he doesn't wear his broken heart as a badge of honor he understands that he is a protector of of feelings and emotions it's kind of like he wanted to be protected from the world and now he is transitioning into this um protector right understanding like someone who has feelings for you and you have feelings for them this needs to be protected from the world, from the people who are jealous of it. You know, we had envy come up in reverse. Who may hurt it? Who may do different things? And I think when you see this, it's going to make you really, like, reignite your passion like in, in a very intense way and I think that's why they're telling you to be cautious about we're gonna do this differently today I guess past life yeah he's definitely getting huge downloads from past life I can see that um so they're gonna give like advice for you, advice for them, and advice for the relationship. And then just an overall energy. So another deep blue dragon keeps you safe by clearing your pathway. Trust that you are protected. Did I not just say protected? Walk in a path of light. He's going to be your protector. It's going to be a beautiful thing. Um, not that you need protecting, but it's a lovely, lovely energy to feel that you may have felt very hurt by him at one point, And that's because he was like acting out his pain onto the world. And he's not going to, he's going to try not to do that anymore. So higher learning. Yes. Getting very much this. You have learned from experience. More inner study is required for further progress. And we'll do an animal card for you guys. And a message card. That was a beautiful reading. I hope it brought you a lot of insight. Um, I'm always just shocked at how spirit brings things through. This and that are true a very uh, high up energy a very advanced energy I 
if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. Okie dokie. So let us get started here for the feminine. Beautiful card. Soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. You have kyanite letting go. So if you are letting go of something, just know that this is a protected and faded kind of event. Magenta Dragon enables you to bring forward your soul's wisdom, awaken your soul memories and higher spiritual understanding, prepare for accelerated ascension, Krishna devotion, trust your spiritual guidance, your commitment has been recognized, you are loved unconditionally, cow spirit, the miracles are endless, so for your masculine, he has acceptance, mm, wow, Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Know your worth. Bridget, so this is my Divine Feminine card. Inner strength. Move back to wholeness. Recognize that you have the power. The Golden Christed Dragon brings you higher love so that you embody Christ light. Absorb the Christ light. You are protected. Expand your heart and remain fifth dimensional. And then acceptance. And I do feel this is acceptance within their heart space. And then the union. Secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. Lion spirit. Be generous of spirit. That's also a one energy like the fool. Okay. I'm sorry. Fool zero. Commander Ashtar. Magician energy. Call to action. Take charge. Lead by example. And walk your talk. Black dragon from Saturn brings you wisdom through spiritual discipline. Concentrate, focus on your ultimate vision. Congratulate yourself. You have passed a test and then Ruby shine. And I did talk about him seeing your shine and your beautiful light that's coming through. So don't, don't be worried about showing your true self. Okay. So I am doing same day readings. They'll be in my stand store. If you want them, I keep saying I'm going to put them up there and I haven't, but, um, that's going to be the only way to get a reading with me and it will be an audio reading. So I shall talk to you later. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for liking and sharing and subscribing and also commenting. It helps me so much. Bye for now.